Welcome back to the 30 day Pilates body challenge. Today's workout is all about the booty. So we're going to feel the burn, but you're going to be so glad you did this and it'll be a great one to repeat whenever you just feel like you need a quick strengthener for that lower body. Okay. So go ahead and get started with me down on your mat. We're going to lay all the way down on our back, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Just take a minute to get situated. Take a few breaths. Again, it's always good to just center yourself because usually we're rushing, either rushing through the morning or rushing through the day. So then when we get to our workout, just take a minute to kind of let that all go. Give yourself this 10 minutes just for you. So take a few big deep breaths. Let go of any stress that you're carrying in your body. Focus on your alignment here as you breathe. If you need to adjust, feel free. And then we're going to start with just some nice pelvic tilts. So all that's going to be is an inhale to prepare and an exhale to flatten your back and tilt your pelvis towards the ceiling. Just nice and easy. A nice way to warm up the back and start to engage those lower abdominal muscles. So flatten the back and release. And watch out for the temptation to tighten your shoulders and hunch forward as you do this. So just keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Just get that little rock just in the lower part of the spine. From here, we're going to take it one step further into a full bridge or pelvic curl. So continue that movement as you articulate your spine up off of the mat one vertebra at a time. Reach a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Remember, this isn't yoga, so you're not trying to push up as high as you can. You're trying to find that really nice long line. Ribs are closed and connected. And now roll through your spine one vertebra at a time. Good. Let's do about six of those. Peeling up, press equally into both feet, reach the knees forward over the toes, and melt your way back down. Inhale, exhale, roll up. Inhale at the top, and exhale to roll down. Good. Couple more. and melting down. Let's just do one more. And this one, we're gonna stay up at the top of our bridge. So you're holding here. If you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm already gonna cramp, bring your heels a little bit closer to your body. From here, just lower the hips and press them up. Lower and press. So no longer articulating through the spine, just lowering and lifting. Nice squeeze there, squeeze the booty so you're getting that activation through the glutes and the hamstrings. Three more, two, one, abs are still engaged. Stay at the top, little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven. Really push into the ground with your feet. Four, three, two, one. Now roll it down and walk your feet together. So feet are together, knees are together. And we're gonna do those same presses, just up for 10, nine, Eight, try to keep those knees glued together. If it hurts your knees, give yourself a little space there to move. But if you can do it without pain, oh, you're gonna feel the burn here in your hamstrings, glutes, and inner thighs. Two, one, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it down and give yourself a quick hug. So just release there, release those hamstrings. Whew. There's more to come. All right, feet are flat on the mat, knees are bent. Again, take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, roll up through your spine, knees reaching straight forward over the toes. Now, I want you to picture connecting your left rib cage to your right hip bone. Get those muscles connected. That's your sling support. It's gonna help you stay balanced. Then just lift the left knee up off of the mat, tap it down, bring it up, tap it down, bring it up, and three. And four, this is hard after that last exercise we did. You're already tired, hang in there. Seven, eight, press those arms into the mat for support. 10, good, other side, so connect. Opposite rib to opposite hip. Sling system in place, now it's much easier to lift that leg. 10, nine, you're hinging right at your hip crease here. And seven, you've got this, six, Five, four, three, stay lifted in those hips, two, one, 
place the foot down, melt through your spine one vertebra at a time. Coming back up again, we're not done yet, roll those hips up. Find that cross swing system, left leg floats off the mat, this time it goes straight. Reach it and raise it. Let's point, flex, point, flex, good, four, five, six, keep those hips high, seven, eight, nine, one more time, ten, good, foot comes down, readjust if you drop like I did, get those hips back up, straighten out, other side we reach up, Woo, feel that tight hamstring already, two, and three, and four, use those upper arms for support, six, seven, hang in there, last one, Good, foot comes down, roll through your spine. Hug the knees in for a minute, just rock side to side. Good, take that left leg, cross it over your right thigh. You can just hang out here if that's a good stretch for you. If you need a deeper stretch, draw the bottom leg in towards you. And you're gonna definitely feel that in those hamstrings and glutes. Kind of a hurt so good kind of feeling. So just hang out here for a minute and take a few big deep breaths. Let those hips release. Good, one more breath. Good, I can hang out here all day. I don't know about you. Let's do the other side. Cross the ankle over the thigh. You can just stay here if you're feeling a little bit tight. That might be plenty of a stretch. If you need a little bit more, draw that whole unit in towards you and relax and breathe here for a moment. Nice big inhales. Nice big exhales, relax your entire body, letting go of tension, and take one more big deep breath. Good, hugging both knees in, just gently rock yourself up to seated. And that was your booty workout for the day. And I'll see you back here on your mat very soon.